is uh, the satirical piece you are about to see from John Christ. A blanket statement from Wretched that says, All contemporary Christian worship music is horrible. No, not all of it. Uh, just, just a lot of it, unfortunately. These days, the way that Christian contemporary worship songs are put together seems to be a little bit different than the way theologians used to. Guys, welcome in. Excited to have you. We're going to get right to the point. We've seen you guys on YouTube. We want to sign you to a Christian music record deal. We're going to get you guys circulating on Christian radio. How's that sound, huh? Yeah, first of all, let me just say I love the diversity. Yes. Love what you guys are doing here. It's really going to connect, resonate with our audience. Listen, if you want Christian music radio airplay, we know the formula. It's real simple. Dirt roads, trucks, multiple uses of the word girl. Well, that's next pitch. Oh, shoot. That's country music. Christian music song formula, three chords, simple rhymes, vague struggles, boom, hit song. You ever been flipping through the dial and you come across a song and you're like, that just, that just sounds Christian. Christian chord charts, even easier. A, D, G. Lyric writing is even easier, you guys. Oh yeah, you always gotta start with a vague struggle, all right, a hard time. Geographical references, yes. storm, valley, desert. You gotta throw in some vague Christian terms and just connect them randomly, make it really predictable. Watch this. Seek his face, mercy, grace, feel his love, bless from above. We could sell that to Casting Crowns or Sanctus Real right, right now. No, like real issues, like addictions. You can only mention your struggles in an abstract type yes. way. Drowning, sinking. Rain, rain on my face, that's from the smash hit Flood. Ever heard of it? Waves crashing. Uh, I don't know, there's a big one. Oceans? Checkmate. Basically, you. all you need to know is more water references. Have you ever heard of, I am a friend of God? He calls me friend. Boom, Dove Awards, Family Christian Bookstores. You wanna be on the poster? Sign the paper. Thank you. This says our band name is Cross Trainers. Yeah, uh, we like your name, but it didn't really resonate with our audience. We changed it to Cross Trainers. It's like a mainstream mm -hmm. play on words, get it? It's a uh, hashtag, hashtag relevant, relevant, if you will. Guys, we have merch for you already. You're gonna love it, okay? We got t-shirts, we got coasters, we got a mug, we even got a fedora. Also, before we go any further, you guys are voting for Hillary, right? Okay, this says we have to include chains being gone, laying down burdens, and darkness to light in every song. Every song, yeah. We kind of, at this point, just kind of given up on reaching non-Christians. So we put out a Christian album, then what? Uh, you're gonna put out a Christmas album. Live album. A worship album. And the greatest hits. Bazinga, that's a heck of a career if you ask me. And if anything goes wrong, one of you guys can join the newsboys. In the industry, we call them the revolving doors. 